Uh, what's up guys? Uh, my name is Joe Brian Jura, uh, founder and CEO of Home254. Uh, but you can call me JB when it's fun and games, but job when it's serious business. Uh, so uh, Home Twifer is a Kenyan-made company um, that deals with merchandise that was started in 2015. I will be celebrating our, our eighth anniversary this year. So when it comes to funding, um, I remember when starting Home Twifer, I only had 2,400 Kenyan shillings, which was my rent. You know, the life in Georgia, life in Georgia is simple. So 2,400 Kenyan shillings rent could, could just give you a nice, decent house. And that time, uh, I'm sure it was starting, so I, I took a loan. That's the only loan I've ever taken, just so you're not a loan from M'Shwari, 2,400 Kenyan shillings. So in total, it was 4,800 Kenyan shillings. Whereby, that's what I used to start uh, this great company, uh, Home254. Yeah, so uh, I don't think funding is a problem when it comes to starting a business. I think that the drive and the idea, you can just start where you are, then grow it uh, slowly by slowly. And uh, I think you return, your returns don't spend much out of the business. You, you bring your returns back to the business so that the company can become uh, profitable. So everything you make, like me, everything that I made during that time and for the six years after starting the company, all of it went back to the business. Every time we change our pricing, it's the value we give to our clients. We get better fabric, we do our stitching better, we do better finishing, we do better quality check. And that, uh, that will keep the business growing and will increase your profits. So you can't just add, uh, you can't just increase the price and uh, you have no value change on the things that you have. So we have a whole uh, cost structure for our, for our merchandise so that you can know what kind of profit margins we need. So profitability, if you don't get the profits right, you, you might be thinking you're selling, but you can't grow the company or you can't scale the company. Uh, to be honest, we're in Kenya. So we have this mentality of starting what someone else has started because it's successful. And sometimes you don't know the, the journey, you don't understand their journey, you don't understand how far they've come to be, able to, to be able to get to where they are. You want to compare your step two to someone else's uh, step 20, which makes people distracted. For me, to be honest, I don't check any competition in Kenya. Because the moment you start checking or uh, looking at your social, uh, your competitors' uh, social media, it distracts you. So what we do, we focus on growth, focus on the growth of our team, the growth of, uh, of our designs, and the growth of everyone who works with the brand. So competition is really, really good. At some point, uh, your clients will tell you there's someone coming for you. Then you're like, uh, okay. We make sure we squash them because you know we want to do we want to do better we want to make our customer service to be better we want to make our quality more better in regards to everything that i've talked about i've just touched a little base of what uh the business and the journey of our business has been so for you to get more join us uh on this autonomy entrepreneur chat on 13th may i to be on zoom so 10 a.m keep it locked we're gonna have a conversation. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but you can have a conversation. So make sure you join us.